Hi again, everybody. Um, if you've seen me reading on Facebook Live today, which is the 3rd, I think, of J July. Losing my marbles because it's Friday. Um, you will have seen a sneak preview of what this book is, and it is bonkers about beetroot. It says, Sunset Safari Park could be in danger of closing down. Zebra and his friends try to think about how to save their home, but they might have to go a little bit bonkers. What do they mean, go a bit bonkers? It was another quiet day at Sunset Safari Park. Good evening, Penguin, called Zebra, but Penguin scowled. Are you bonkers, he said. How can it be a good evening? Nobody visited the park today. Our home is doomed. There's Zebra, look. He's trying to be all friendly and Penguin looks really cross. Scowling away. <sighs> Zebra called a meeting. We have to find more visitors, he said. We need to save our park. You're wasting your time, Penguin said. Nobody comes here because we're boring. But Zebra tried anyway. The animals hunted for missing visitors. Suddenly, Zebra let out a yell. Ooh, what's he going to sound? There are all the animals that are having the meeting. Here they are, looking for the visitors. He's let out a yell, so he said, ah! What's he seen? Beetroot! Beetroot? Penguin asked. Zebra nodded. People are crazy about beetroot. We must grow the biggest beetroot in the whole wide world. Bonkers, said Penguin. No one will visit a beetroot safari park. He was looking really happy himself. And look at Penguin again. Oh dear. He's a very, very grumpy little chap, isn't he? But Zebra tried anyway. He made a list of everything they would need. Ugh. What's manure? asked Panda. It's animal poo. It helps plants grow enormous. Yuck. Ugh, wait till you see this picture. Here he is look, with his list. I won't show you the other picture. But here he is with his list. It says there, you won't be able to see it because it's a bit small, but it says manure. And wait till you see this picture. The animals built a mighty manure mountain. Ugh. Stop, shouted Penguin. That's a bonkers manure heap. Look at this, it's a big pile of poo-poo. <sighs> Disgusting. But look, once again, our friend, Penguin, grumpy as you like. What's his problem? <clears throat> All the time. Must have woke up on the wrong side of the bed. The animals planted the seeds. They watered and the seeds began to grow. One plant grew bigger than the rest. Wait till you see this. Here they are planting. Here they are watering. Here they are. Looking at the seeds growing. And here's this huge one. Wonder what Penguin's going to say now. Probably still going to be grumpy. Woo-wee, said Zebra. What a whopper. When will that bonkers beetroot stop growing? Penguin said. Zebra wasn't sure. Now, Penguin's a little bit grumpy still, but look. Actually, he looks a bit confused, I think. He's like, huh? Why is that so big? The beetroot grew and grew. Hundreds of visitors came to see the giant beetroot. And they've got a sign that says, bonkers beetroot. But the beetroot kept on growing. Look at this. Hopefully you can see that picture. Look at this, I'm panning across. Whew. Huge beetroot. Rumble, Russell, squelch. It grew bigger and bigger. Soon there was no room for the visitors. This vegetable is out of control. We have to stop it. Monster beetroot takes over the park, is what it says on the newspaper. There it is, it's huge. I can't even show you. I've got to hold it all the way back here. Look, show you, it's huge. And look at the newspaper, it says... Monster beetroot takes over the park. It 
zebra began to eat the giant beetroot. You bonkers, said Penguin. You can't eat all that. But zebra tried anyway. Here he is, look, look, Penguin again. Getting all frantic with worry. Look at zebra. Munching away, munch, crunch. I don't think I'd want to eat that much beetroot. Ah, uh, uh, moaned Zebra. Help, cried the animals. Zebra's ill. Zebra's not ill, said Penguin. But he's, oh my goodness. He's turned purple. Have you ever seen a purple zebra before? I haven't. Thousands of visitors arrived to see the only purple zebra in the world. Hooray for zebra, cheered, cheered the animals. He saved our home. Here he is, look, with all his visitors. All looking at the purple zebra. And look over here, Panda is selling fresh beetroot. And Penguin said... <sighs> is he going to be grumpy again? Penguin said, bonkers. But actually, this time, he doesn't look so grumpy, does he? Maybe he's happy because the park saved. The end. No, I absolutely love that story. It's a bit of a silly story. At least I've never seen a purple zebra before. Have you seen a purple zebra before? I'd be very interested to find out where they are if you have seen one. Have you seen any animals that are different colours to what you'd expect? I've seen some tigers that are white tigers and some with orange, orange and black striped tigers and then some with white and black stripes. I've seen a couple of strange animals, but I've never, ever, ever seen a purple zebra, ever. Come to think of it, I've never seen a pink elephant either. What strange animals have you seen? Let me know. See you again soon. Bye.